It's team road trip time, and good news, we're gonna need our cowgirl hats. We're entering the Wildcatter Ranch and Resort. It's less than an hour and a half west of Fort Worth, and it feels like we are in the heart of Texas. The windy drive uphill brings us to 360 degree views of this 1500 acre guest ranch. It's just a neat property and in my opinion probably the best the best view in the state of Texas. Jay Brewer is the general manager and he's been here since its beginning 16 years ago. Along with a wildcatter hotel, cabins and steakhouse, they also offer a long list of guided activities and we said yee-haw to about half of them. Our cowboy host is Clint West. First off, what we're using today is 870 pump action shotguns. He's teaching us how to shoot a moving target. Do you ever miss? Sometimes. This is Jessica's first time doing this. There you are. And mine too. <laughs> we start with the basics, loading our weapons. And we're gonna put four down below. So you're gonna press down, put your thumb behind it. Slide it in. All the way forward to click, excuse me. Okay. All right, why don't you go ahead and load up three more down below. So you can go ahead and shoulder it up, get comfortable. All right, Jess, say pull when you're ready. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, pull. Got it. Good I shot. got it. First hit. I got it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Good job. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Getting real, safety's off. Point and shoot, ready? Yes. Say pull when ready. Pull. There you go. <laughs> Got it. What? Good job. The big difference between shotgun shooting and rifle shooting is this is all reactive. So if you try to sit there and aim, you're, nine times out of 10, you're gonna miss. Peter had great reactions and he has some previous experience. All right, Peter. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and shoulder it up, get comfortable. Pull. Very good. He hit nearly everything. Good hit. I'll mix it up on you, Peter. Look at him go. Wow. Woo. Excellent form. Well, that was flawless right there. So if this was a competition, who won the shooting competition? Oh, definitely Peter. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> it's time for our next team activity. Horseback riding. Can I take you for a ride? The Wildcatter team did all the prep work. We just got to relax and get on. I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> you know? All right, so we're gonna be doing some horseback riding. Ready, Scout? We're gonna do a 60 minute horseback ride and take you guys down along the Brazos River. We got an 80 foot bluff overlooking the river there and it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Trail ride has officially begun. After just 15 minutes, the equine therapy started to kick in. I feel like my whole life is slowing down right now. I'm in my element. <laughs> These opportunities to connect with animals and connect with nature have attracted visitors from all over the world. It's a fun getaway for anybody, you know? What is it like for you knowing that this has become an international attraction? Oh, it, I mean, it's awesome. It gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of pride to, to share Texas with people from all over the world and to be given an authentic experience. Wow, we made it. So we're down here on the Brazos River. This is the second longest river in the state of Texas. It starts an hour east of Lubbock and runs all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. It's 841 miles in entirety and uh, we have a gorgeous view out here of it. After our trail ride came to an end, Nice. We practiced axe throwing. Nice. Woo! Stuck it. Thanks to Texas today. Just like that. Straight up, straight down. Jessica and I have some prior experience on this one. Why not? Oh, Good job. Yes. Then we learned how to shoot a bow and arrow. All right. Big, strong pull. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Good job. There is a lot of fun to be had here, so be sure and plan for it. We recommend if, you're, if you want to be activity packed, you stay at least two nights with us. If you just want to relax, get away from the city, get away from the hustle and bustle, and have a glass of wine and watch the sun go down, hang out at the pool all day, we're the perfect place for that too. 
Right next to the cabins is their Infinity Edge Pool. Pool time! Look at this view. That overlooks the Brazos River Valley below. For dinner, we spent the evening with a wildcatter team at their steakhouse, indulging in mesquite-smoked jalapeno poppers, bacon-wrapped Texas quail with honey chipotle sauce, firecracker shrimp sautéed in a red pepper butter sauce, and their certified Angus ribeyes. Delish! Fortunately, the beds here are close by. They offer a 16-room hotel right across from the steakhouse. Whoa! And they have 16 cabin suites. Wow! There's a fireplace! This is where we got to stay. Is it ever too early to go to bed? Each one is decorated with unique details oh. based on the history of Young County. Now we're talking! And this is where we spent most of our time, sitting on the patio, enjoying all that surrounds us. The next morning after breakfast was our final activity at Wildcatter, meeting the ranch's longhorns. Jessica made a fast friend. I think he loves you. The Wildcatter herd greets their guests for treats, horn scratches, you ready? Yeah. Okay. And if they get lucky, okay, let's do it. An occasional <laughs> cow kiss. <laughs> Kissing cows is a thing here. Oh, gross! <laughs> <laughs> they even have T-shirts in the gift shop. I kissed a longhorn. But did Jessica like it? How was your first cow kiss, Jessica? It was pretty excellent. It was a little slobbery, but you know. My cow had some good tongue. <laughs> Wildcatter was an epic team adventure Woo! that will be etched in our minds forever. This ranch and its animals welcome you with open horns for a weekend getaway, corporate retreat, or even a wedding. Because this is where memories are made.